Bring in Linux to you! Hey guys, Max here with Ichi Techs, here to teach you how to install the latest version of Docker into Ubuntu 16.04. Now if you look here, I am puttied into my test server, just a bare metal server in the other room. First we need to check that we have the correct kernel for our distribution, and we need a minimum of 3.11. So we're going to check by typing in uname dash r. As you can see, we have 4.4, .4, so that's well past it. Now we need to make sure our app sources are up to date, and then install HTTPS and CA certificates. So sudo apt update to update the app sources. and then sudo apt transport https and ca certificates if all packages are up to date which mine are so type in sudo apt install apt transport https and ca certificates CA certificates is already the newest version and app transport HTTPS is already the newest version so I don't need to install those. <clears throat> now we need to import the docker gpg key so we can get it from the repository. Now it's a long key and I'll have this text file in the video description below but I'm just going to copy this in so I don't mess it up. It's executing one processed, one imported. As you can see right there and there. Now that that's done, now we need the repository. So copy that in as well. The text file will have all the commands in it, so if you just want to copy and paste, you can do that too. Copy this in there, run that. Now we just added the Ubuntu 16.04 main trunk of the repository. Now we're going to update our repositories. As you can see, it is getting from app docker project repo 1604 in, in release and 1604 main AMD64 packages and all are up to date. Now just to make sure that we're pulling from the right repository we're gonna cache policy docker engine. So apt cache policy docker engine. So as you can see nothing's installed right there but the candidate with the newest is 12. Dot, or 1.12.3 and you got previous ones here if you needed those I'll explain how to install those a little bit later into the video <clears throat> but now we're just gonna update and make sh sure that uh, we got all the prerequisites needed for docker so sudo app update just to be safe and then uh, everything should be up to date yep now sudo apt install linux image extra dollar name space r and linux image Miss the dash after the extra. Boom. Yes, I want to install both of those. <clears throat> okay.
now that both those are installed, we're just going to sudo apt update again to be safe. And then we'll install Docker Engine. All packages are up to date. So now sudo apt install Docker Engine. Now, if you wanted to install one of the previous projects, or one of the previous versions, I should say, for whatever reason you need it for something, you can then space and put in the, the release version. So if you need that, just add a space and type in the release version. But we're not going to do that. We want the newest version. So just put in Docker Engine and hit Enter. Yes. I'll speed through these to make them faster so you don't have to wait for them to all download and install. Okay, now that Docker has finished installing, instead of restarting our computer, we'll just restart we'll just start up the service that we just installed. So sudo service docker start okay if you don't see anything that means the service has started now let's verify that docker is installed correctly and running you can do that by running the hello world package from docker hub so sudo docker run hello world able to find image as you can see now it's pulling from the library pulled it and then it ran it so now you can see that it has ran it and it shows that the installation appears to be working correctly it contacted the docker daemon pulled the hello world image and created a new container for it it also gives you some other more ambitious things to do with your container if you wanted to run it as an Ubuntu container and make your own container but I'll do that in another video so now that we have docker installed and verified now I'm going to show you how to manage docker as a non brute user without sudo so to do that you're gonna add your user to the docker group so what you do is you type in sudo user mod a capital G docker and then your username mine is test for this server but it'll be whatever your user is so on that now t now you gotta log out and log back in so that your group membership is reevaluated and it'll work otherwise your group membership won't be reevaluated and it'll still put you in your last group and you'll still need to use sudo in front of docker commands so I'm gonna log out start a new session let's go back into test get rid of this one test there we go System. So now we're going to just verify that the Docker commands can be run without sudo by running, you know, the same one that we did. Docker run hello world. As you can see, the Docker image was didn't need to be didn't need to be pulled again because you already have it on your system. So it just started the container up again and show contacted Docker Damon and verified that it was working correctly. Now that you have Docker installed on your Ubuntu 1604 server, stay tuned for the next video and I'll teach you how to spin up an own cloud server with a MySQL database in containers and so you can have your own cloud. See you guys later. Talk to you in the next one.